In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a refund or return policy for your Shopify store. And if this video was of any value to you, please leave us a super thanks and thank you for supporting our channel. We really appreciate it. Let's start with the tutorial. So Shopify has this built-in page that allows you to generate a refund policy. The link is in the description and you can just go to this page. Down here, you're gonna be asked to start a trial, but you probably already have your store. So just click on skip Shopify trial. And here you're gonna want to fill out the information about your business, like the company name, email address it's gonna be emailed out to you like you're gonna get an email so make sure that you put in an accurate email this information is important because this is what's going to go in the actual document so this is what people are going to read in the refund policy so make sure that you fill it out accurately so once you have it filled out click on send me return policy and you're gonna get an email with a link that's gonna link you to the actual document so let's go and check our email Boom. This is the link that we're going to receive. So in that email, we're going to get that link. Click on this link right here. Once we get to this page, we're going to have the whole document already filled out with all that information. That's the, the address that I put in in that form. So I'm going to click on copy to clipboard and basically we have it copied. So let's go back to our store and we're going to have to go to pages on the left and we're going to create a new page. So up right corner, click on add page and we can just name it turn policy and we just paste and right here you're going to have the whole document um, spelled out you need to read it because this is just a template and you will actually have to modify it according to your business so once you read and edit this whole document we can just save it and we have the page created now that we have the page created we need to actually add it to our storefront so we can go to navigation directly here on the left to add it to the footer menu but it will all depend where you want to add it right not all stores are the same so i'm just going to go to the actual store and on the theme i'm going to customize it so that i can actually find the place that i want to put it i want to put it all the way at the bottom which is down here and that is my footer menu so i'm going to click on the footer menu and i have quick links and newsletter i want to add it to this quick links section so i'm going to click on the quick links and on the quick links what we have is the footer menu so i'm going to click on edit menu so that we can be taken to the footer menu and we have all these pages down here so we have privacy policy terms and conditions let's add the return policy now just name it and we can paste the url of the page or we can just search it directly so i'm going to go to pages and it's going to search for all the pages that i have created on my store and i have the return policy right here Boom, I have it selected and click add. I can change the position if I want to, if I want to have a top, whatever. Click on save menu. Once our menu is saved, we can just go to our store. Normally it will take a few seconds for it to update. So like if you don't see it right away, don't freak out, give it a minute and it will show up on your storefront after a while. I let at least 30 seconds go by. So now let's go ahead and click on the little eye so that I can go and check out my store. And as you can see down here, we have our return policy added. So let's go ahead and click on it, see how it looks like. And here we have our document. Basically that's all we need to do just make sure that you update it with the information that you actually want to provide to your customers and uh, that's it you have your return policy I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave us a super thanks like and subscribe to the channel have a wonderful rest of the day my friends and stay safe out there